Paramahams Nityananda, a rare living incarnation, is named among the world's hundred most spiritually influential personalities today. Paramahams Nityananda has been placed alongside Dalai Lama, Nelson Mandela, Oprah Winfrey, Paulo Coelho and others by Mind Body Spirit, the world's top esoteric magazine from Watkins, London's oldest and largest bookstore. A yogi by birth, he has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth. He has authored more than 500 books in Tamil and English. Translations of these books are available in 26 languages in Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Hindi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Oriya, Bengali, Marathi, French, Malay, Polish, Portuguese, Italian, German, Danish, Spanish, Russian and Chinese. He is also an exemplary speaker with over 10,000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses. Social services such as Annadan, free medical care, free educational services with ashrams, schools, temples, hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offering exceptional services. A powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases from migraine grain to cancer, a Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands, a living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam, a spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples in places like Los Angeles, San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore and places in India like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai. A spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation, a contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers, an adept in Ashtamaha Siddhis, mystical yogic powers who has effortlessly awakened the Kundalini of thousands and graced them with spiritual powers, a dynamic young guru who is an inspiration for thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online, a beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru, blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. He is the 293rd Pontiff of the world's most ancient Hindu organization, Madurai Adinam. Shiva Samaram Bam Yana Samanda Charya Madhyamam Asmada Charya Varyantam Vande Guru Param Param The way we handle death shows what we believe about death and after death. I really sincerely request Western scientists and psychologists to look into the science.
प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू गाइस कैन कैच द ट्रूथ बिहाइंड दिस वन अफोरिज्म सो मच ऑफ सफरिंग कैन बी रिड्यूस्ड ड्यूरिंग लाइफ if we can just reproduce this knowledge and science to all human beings as a clear science provable through the machineries through the mechanisms i can tell you this is much more stronger provable scientific than any allopathy psychology psychoanalysis you are carrying if this can be reproduced to the world in a very scientific practical way such huge service so much suffering can be reduced people don't need to be in constant anxiety you happen in the planet earth to exhaust certain amount of karma if you can retain your udana on your lungs till that karma is exhausted you will have the freedom to assume the next body or not you will have the freedom you will be able to choose whether to go for one more body or not so i can say this should be the right to education for every child happening in the planet earth all human beings should have a right to education to know the science of leaving the body at will and it is possible the science is possible it is provable clear practical science available in yogic hatha yogic and siddha traditions every human being should have right to education for this system the method to control and manage udana the vital energy which functions in you and ability to leave the body when you want at will once you realize the space of freedom even in a remote possible way you will understand the ecstasy See, it's like a you are born and brought up in a small Indian village, but suddenly, by chance, some fortunate thing you got a job and you went and settled in U.S. some country. Outside India, you became rich. After twenty-five years, you visit. your native place in a unbounded way see when you were born and brought up in that place all the people's opinion about you mattered for your life it was a bondage what they think about you matters how they react with you matters how you deal with them matters everything matters but now you are visiting the same village when nothing matters you nothing can disturb you if you want you can raise somebody's life to the higher level but nobody can raise, bring your life to the lower level when you visit like that 
to your native village. Not only that, you go with extraordinary things which the, your village has never seen. If you liberate yourself just from one or two mental patterns and live, then you will understand power of liberated life. If you are liberated from some patterns, then you will understand the necessity for liberation. Most important, strongest pattern with which you are suffering is taking birth and getting into death. Birth and death is the worst pattern with which you are suffering. Birth and death is the worst pattern. Then all your depression, ups and downs. Birth and death is the worst pattern any beings go through. How beings live. Understand, the cognizance you take about yourself is the root cause of all the joy and suffering you go through. If the fear of discontinuity is removed from the human mind, millions of sufferings we go through will be removed. If we can make the world understand there is no discontinuity, this can revolutionize the whole universe much more than the concept of one world government. This can revolutionize the whole world, whole human civilization, much more than one world government. Because when the understanding of continuity happens, when all the fears and insecurities related to discontinuity disappears, you can see in front of your eyes, our perverted desires to hold wealth will disappear. Our insensitivity to all the crimes we are committing. If you realize the truth of continuity, there is no discontinuity. You will understand everything you accumulate. You may not answer the law but you have to answer the cosmic law. Nitya Kriya, restoring Hatha Yoga to the world. A series of healing yogic processes revealed by Paramahamsa Nityananda to care and cure for diseases and disorders. Practice Nitya Kriya and awaken your Kundalini energy. To find out more, visit www. Dot nityananda dot org slash nitya dash kriyas Let me describe Ramana Maharishi's experience in his own words around the age of 16 Suddenly one day very strong feeling or the fear of death started happening in him and he was not even bothered or perturbed he did not even bother about calling or telling the family or even the relatives who were there in the same house he was in Madurai at that time just he stretched his body straight and decided to go through the experience he just lie down like a dead body and started seeing what is going on inside. Understand? A very courageous decision. Very courageous decision. He says beautifully, I saw very clearly I was dying. Step by step, slowly the body died. Suddenly I remembered, yes, only body is dead. I am alive. I exist still. I am there. 
and he says in the experience he saw very clearly as if his body being carried burnt reduced to ashes everything happened in few chana few second everything happened but suddenly he says something opened clicked yes body has disappeared i died it is burnt everything is over but i exist i exist i am not dead this was such a strong experience bhagwan says once for all the death fear left me the fear of death has left me and that experience i exist stayed forever once for all understand in half an hour you can become enlightened <laughs> that is what bhagwan is saying by expressing this all it takes is half an hour logical mind an ordinary mind very difficult for the mind to understand how can just one simple experience give so much of clarity and courage an experience transform the whole life he says within that after experience after that experience happened within few days he left the house all alone and traveled and came and settled in arunachala and never left the arunachala after that maybe ramana maharshi would have practiced this technique for many janmas before that birth whatever he practiced that experience only just automatically opened up opened up and pulled him inside and gave the truth i always used to think i should have the experience of death or face death directly face to face but somehow that that thought never became a priority see any thought has to become priority only then experience can happen only when it becomes top priority when urge becomes urgent thing starts transforming in you only if it is in top priority experience can be achieved so it was not in my top priority somehow it was getting postponed when i went to varanasi varanasi is the holy city for hindus whatever is said and done i cannot describe experience verbally only you have to see there to have that experience to tell you honestly the fear of death some just disappeared when you see so many bodies are what is there like this only i am also going to go okay you feel there is so many people giving company <laughs> you don't feel lonely about death <laughs> you feel it's like a, one more trip <laughs> are so many people are there chalo it's okay <laughs> and this is what is going to happen see if you see one body being burnt rarely once in a while you will have that fear there you will see unimaginable all i did let me try to sit here and see what it what goes on and i sat just in half an hour one hour the death is no more a strange incident which happens once in a while for some relative or friend it became like a okay next that's all next that's all all size all gender all age all kinds all color all community all religion also when continuously you see this happening you actually lose respect for death now you have too much respect too much of ideas about it are it is nothing the breath which went inside did not come out that's all <laughs> and chalo <laughs> the people who are sitting uh, waiting for the property are enjoying over <laughs> that's all what is there 
and nothing much. Neither anything can be done about it, nor anything can be <laughs> repented. Now, what is there over? Neither you can fast forward, nor you can rewind. <laughs> over. And when I saw that body is being burnt continuously, initially the little fear which was there disappeared. And slowly, not only fear, it became interest. I started going near and started helping them. <laughs> helping them. Then, slowly I started thinking, after all, this body is also going to become like this. Yes, over. When you remember that death is going to happen to you, the respect which you carry for your ego will come down. Because whatever you think should not leave you is ego. When you know for sure everything is going to leave you, then the respect for ego just drastically drops. And especially, I am a kind of a too sharp, straightforward guy. So straight away the respect for ego dropped. Then I decided, after all, I am going to die. Either I should have a death experience now itself and live without the death fear or die and see. That's all. But I have to see the death. There is a small Shiva temple in one corner and a small tower above the temple. I went and sat in that tower so that nobody will disturb me. In one corner I sat if you see in the biography, so many you will see the photograph where I had the first the death experience. I sat there. From there I started seeing the dead bodies being burnt. Still I remember the strong click was when an elderly lady's body was being burnt, I saw her, she had a big belly the cloth burnt and the fat which was there in the belly started burning and melting and flowing. Sorry for describing too vividly. <laughs> I could see very clearly because the cloth got burnt, the body is there and the fat is burning and melting and flowing. Because the fat is flowing, the fire is still burning with a full speed that gave a very strong click into me and said, oh God, yes, same weight is going to burn and same thing is going to happen to this body also. Let it happen. That click opened up a deep fear of death and that fear when it spread all over the body when I faced it consciously, I could see very clearly that fear spreading all over the body. When the fear met my awareness, hit my awareness, that became death experience. Understand? Whenever your fear is suppressed, it stays inside you as a suppressed fear. Whenever it comes out, and you are not consciously facing it, it becomes a fear stroke and shakes your whole nervous system and breaks it down. If it is faced consciously, it becomes death experience. The fear, death fear, if you just escape, run away, when that fear happens, it becomes death. When you face it consciously, it becomes death experience. Death fear plus subconscious is suppression. Death fear plus unconscious is nervous breakdown. Death fear plus conscious is death experience. Understand? I have given a clear explanation, clear equation. Death fear plus subconscious is suppression. Perversion. Death fear plus unconscious means you don't suppress. 
But neither you face. You just get shaken, frightened. Fear stroke, nervous breakdown. Death fear, conscious awareness is death experience. I was able to see very clearly the fear which rose when I faced it consciously with awareness became death experience means I saw clearly the body is dead. It's not moving. Two and a half days, no food, no water, no thought, no question, no doubt, body was there. Only after the experience I realized, two and a half days passed. It was there. I could see with closed eyes, the body is dead and there is no movement. Suddenly, after two and a half days, the click happened. God, body is dead, but I exist still. I am there. That clarity, that click, when it clicked, it became such an intense ecstasy. The fear of death left once for all. And it has become such a deep ecstasy, such a joy, such bliss. And slowly opened the eyes. I was able to move the body. First thing I felt was such a deep ecstasy and gratitude. I went down to the Ganga. It was just few feet. Sprinkled little Ganga water. Took the Ganga water in Kamandalu. Little ash from the pyre. Straight went to Vishwanatha and put that ash and did the puja. That was the first thing. It was such a deep gratitude. I saw Vishwanatha was alive. Understand? Because I died, Vishwanatha became alive. Till the day before, because I was alive, Vishwanatha was always dead stone. Because I was alive, Vishwanatha was just dead stone. Because I died, Vishwanatha is the Shiva in Varanasi, the Shivalinga. I always felt to touch this stone, 300,000 people are coming every day. What foolishness. And one more funny thing, when you can touch the deity by yourself, you lose respect. In South India, you can't touch. In North India, you can touch by yourself. And the Vishwanatha, you can touch and play with yourself everything. And naturally you will feel, what is this? Just to touch this stone, people are coming from all the way. I always felt, it was a stone. Because I was alive. When I died, I saw clearly, he is alive. Only one can be alive. Either him or you. When you see the truth, he will become alive. We will not be anymore alive as we think. And the fear of death left once for all. I can say, this is one of the very strong experience transformed me. Transformed me towards my enlightenment. Towards the spiritual <coughs> ultimate truth. That click is what I call Satori, the enlightenment experience. Books by Paramahamsan Nityananda In the true spirit of Vedic tradition, more than 250 books of Paramahamsan Nityananda are now available online for free. Access free library at lifeblissprograms.org slash books. Beautiful story. 
every day, day in and day out, Buddha was meditating for more than 12 years. Morning he will sit till late night, next day morning again he will sit till late night. Day in and day out, nothing was happening. The story says, one day he decided, Itam asanam sushyate sariram. Let the body disappear, evaporate in this posture. How many days I don't know. How long I don't know. I am going to sit till I achieve enlightenment. I am not going to be bothered about the time. I am ready to sit dirga kala. Please understand that word dirga kala means not just long time. Deciding forever. Buddha decides, I am going to sit forever. Understand? Time is after all psychological. Time is after all psychological. The story says, the moment he decided, he will sit forever. That moment, he just became enlightened. Because all he needs, all he needed was that intensity. Usually when you sit in meditation, having an idea, I will get up after two hours. Your mind will be just waiting for the two hours to end. That's all. You will not be meditating. You will not be in the present moment. If you have an idea, I will sit till tomorrow morning. Your mind will be waiting for next day morning. It will not be in the present moment. When Buddha decided that I am going to sit forever, he decided I am not going to get up. So mind has no goal to go. Mind has no goal. When it has no goal, it just fell back to the present moment and he became enlightened. The Vedic tradition, they say if you sit and meditate in burial grounds, you will constantly remember and meditate on death and going through your own internal death is the way for enlightenment. That is the only way for enlightenment. Going through that psychological death is way for transformation and enlightenment. I was trying for years. Every time I sit, I will sit with the idea. All right, I will sit. Today whole night, tomorrow morning I will go out for buy food, come back and sit. This was the same thing I was doing. One day, when I was sitting in Varanasi, Manikarnika Ghat, the place where hundreds of dead bodies are burnt every day. If you are a sincere seeker, really want to know the secrets of death and life, You should go to the Manigarniga Ghat in Varanasi and sit and meditate at least for a few days. When I sat, suddenly the click has happened. God, it is such a simple thing. Just like all these bodies are being burnt, this body also will be burnt one day, that's all. There is nothing much big. No need to make a big fuss about death, life and all those foolish things. It is just dust unto dust. Nothing else. Then I thought, every day I am meditating on death, meditating in burial ground, but still why I am not able to experience that internal psychological death, I am not talking about physical death. Physical death is different. The psychological death is different. If you experience psychological death, suddenly you will see you are enlightened. I thought, why I am not able to experience? Then I decided, either this body should die and I should experience death or I should have death experience by meditation. 
I decided to sit. Decided to sit. I decided I will sit and meditate on death till I have the death experience. One day was over. Second day also over. No food, no sleep, no one, two, three, nothing. Just sitting. Third day, the whole body is practically frozen because of pain. Just body wants to move, but I said no, nothing doing. No question of moving. If you do not move, just sit like this. The whole body will feel like a frozen with pain. Suddenly, my whole being realized, I am serious about my will. I am really serious about my will. Suddenly, my whole being realized, I am going to do it. I myself got convinced about my will power. I myself realized, I am going to sit. First when I sat, my mind did not believe and said, all right, let us see, struggle how much you can. After all, you are a good guy struggling for last 10 years. Try once more, nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong in trying. Chalo, try. Next day morning, it felt little sympathetic. The fellow is really trying, struggling hard. By third day noon, it got completely convinced. The power which was resisting has lost its hold on the consciousness. The constant doubt which was there, saying, no, 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 once he is tired, he will come out. Once he is hungry, he will get up and go for food, relax. Once this fellow is feeling the hunger, everything will become all right. That part is died. Suddenly, my own being felt so strongly convinced, I am going to sit. Still, I remember very clearly. One thought, a clear thought, I am going to sit eternally. Dirkagala, forever. The moment I decided forever, Instead of my, the mind moving in a horizontal, linear way, you see, if you say long time, your mind will naturally move linear way. Long time means how many years? Come on, tell me. The moment I say, all right, let me sit for 10 years. Then it will be waiting. All right, 10 years, I will sit. Let us sit. And after 10 years, I can come out. So just for that, just because that hope is there, it will not fall into unconsciousness. It will continue to retain its identity because it knows after 10 years it can come back and play its game. The hope is there because the idea of time is created by mind. It is nothing but its own, you see it is like a, you create a track out of steel and create a train out of steel. The steel train moves on the steel track. So, mind, one part of mind is the time. So, the moment you created a time, now the mind can be alive forever. It knows, hey, it is my own track. Let me travel, let me move, let me be. But, the moment I decided eternally, mind has lost its grip over time and it knows, oh God, I think this fellow really means, he really means what he is talking or what he is thinking. The moment you give that confidence to mind that I am going to be doing it eternally, suddenly it gets shaken, it gets frightened. And it comes back to the present moment. 
because it knows I have to be doing this forever. There is no, you see, your mind exists with only one idea. It tolerates anything if it knows it is going to end. It has the ability to tolerate anything and survive anything if it knows that action is going to end. Any action, any idea, any meditation, any technique, if it knows there is going to be end, it will survive, it will live through, it will live through, because it knows there is going to be end. Only when you give the clarity, it is going to be dirka kalaha, that is why in Indian tradition, whether it is marriage or sannyas, for eternal. Once you take sannyas, it is forever. Once you marry, it is forever. Then mind will stop playing its games. The yogi with whom I learned this yoga and Patanjali, I have seen him displaying all kinds of extraordinary powers. Because he is very clear till he achieves that powers, he is going to be practicing. So, what mind does? Your mind is intelligent. It can express any power. Mind immediately decides, oh God, this fellow is going to torture me with the practice till I reveal that powers to him. Better let me give it now itself. It tries to play with you without giving power and trying to break your practice. If you give a strong idea to your mind, no, you are going to practice till it gives you the power. Suddenly it gets frightened and it says, I know this fellow is going to torture me by doing everything. Let me better give the power now itself. The day, the moment I was able to convince myself, I am going to sit, my whole being was completely convinced. I could see very clearly from the root of the spine, that pain spreading all over the body, cruciating pain, requesting me, please move the body little bit and adjust. I was sitting for two and a half days, no food and I did not even know two and a half days passed, only later on I calculated. Later on I was able to calculate, I did not even know two and a half days passed. I just decided, who cares about time and everything, I am going to sit, that's all. The backbone, the spine is begging me, just adjust the legs little bit, adjust so that the blood flow, flow will become little easy. At least adjust your hand, let me check whether I am alive or not. It's literally begging me, but I could see very clearly. My Sangalpa will say, I am going to sit, there is no question of moving. The moment this will, that strong will, it says clearly, Dirka Gala, I am going to sit eternally. When that conviction landed on my being, I could see very clearly. That pain which was there all over the body, every joint I, I was able to feel, every nerve I was able to feel, because sitting continuously, what will happen? The whole body just slowly started disappearing. The moment it learned, the practice is going to be eternal, dirka galaha, eternal, the mind started withdrawing. It decided, now I cannot survive. Now I cannot survive. Now I cannot stand. See, if you have some visualization for your mind, if you say 12 years, after 12 years I will get up, it will wait. It will survive for 12 years. Anyhow, I am going to get up after 12 years. Let's, let me push the time, push the time, push the time. It will be sitting and altering your clock. Now really, if you fall in love with somebody and you are waiting to meet that person next day morning, you can see late night you will be sitting and adjusting the clock. 
when will the time become 4 o'clock, morning, early morning, I can get up and get ready and go and wait in the park. You will be just waiting. Mind is intelligent, it can push the clock, it can push the time. But when you say the word dirka kala, eternal, it is going to be eternally this way only. Suddenly, it gets adjusted. It gets adjusted and it came back to the present moment and said, all right, I cooperate with you and dissolved. That strong, the internal death experience happened. Sacred Art Store Nityananda's Sacred Art Store A storehouse of spiritual products from Vedic culture. Find all your needs for yogic body, Vedic mind and N living. A one-stop shop for spiritual products and gifts. www.sacredartsstore.com or email us sales at ngaleria.com Thing 
I did this, I got frightened. I just want to run away from that place. But this Swami who was lying, who is who was taken care of, he also started grasping for the breath. When he saw the other guy dying, the psychological effort, he also started having the same effort. And he was holding my hand and saying, don't go, don't go. So, God, what to do now? The Swami is not a living. Very great Swami. Great tapasri, but not a living. Oh, a big problem. What can I do? I can't. Neither I can run nor I can stand there. That's the See, suffering is so much. That person suffering. The person was dying. I also feel the same pain. You see, if you see an accident, you can't eat for two days. Two days before putting the food in the mouth, what will come to your mind? You can't bear. Same thing. It's literally seeing an accident. So, too much. Then, any or no other day, I have to sit there, I said. I saw so the first thing happened. A terrible pain because of the heavy pain. The logic has lost its balance. Understand? As long as your logic is balanced only, you will be able to see the difference between dream state and waking state. Kids cannot see the difference between dream state and waking state. Do you know? Till the age of three, if something happens in their, in their dream, they will start playing in the waking state. They can't see the difference. Because they don't have a balanced logic. Because of the terrible pain, I saw the person lost his logic. Please understand why I am giving so much importance to this session. Because so many truths I am revealing. I can say these are all called, these are only called Devarasyas. Are the business secrets. See, just like if you go to lawyer, how he gives the legal opinion. Same way, I am giving you cosmic legal opinion about life and death, the major important questions. How his legal opinion is very important for you to make decisions. Same way, I am giving you the legal opinion of cosmos, the dharmic opinion, dharmic opinion. This legal opinion is very important for you to design your day-to-day -day activities in that life. How the cosmos function, how you are related to it. I think human beings are lost on great important quality, sitting in a relaxed way. Either you are continuously restless or you sleep. Either you sleep or continuously restless. What next? What next? What next? What next? <laughs> you lost the habit of sitting in a relaxed way and observing what is happening around you. Either tamas or rajas, no sattva. That is why more than 15 minutes you don't sit in front of one channel. Am I right? Maximum 15 minutes. Within 15 minutes you come home one full round and come back. All 54 channels. Kids will not have a clear logic. They will not know the difference between their dream, their thoughts and the world. Same way that I being, this guy lost the logical balance. Now, he does not have difference between his dreams, his thoughts and the world. So, whatever thoughts comes, he thinks that is a world and suffers. Whatever dreams comes, that he thinks that is reality and suffers. Understand? The moment he lost his logical balance, I saw all his thoughts are acting on him as if they are reality. All his desires, pain, thoughts, everything, just jumping on him and possessing him. It's practically like a football being kicked by 25 players. 25 players are kicking the football from this side to that side and that side to this side. Oh, what happens to football? Exactly same way 
this individual consciousness, this self, was kicked left and right. One side, all his desires are kicking him, saying, I want to live in this body, only then I can be, feel fulfilled. Don't leave this body. The other side, all the body is saying, No, I am tired, I can't post you anymore. Just get out. The fight happening between the person's desire and the body is what is grasping for breath. That's, that's the fight. I saw an inhaling happens. The desires are trying to possess the body. When I say it is happening, body is saying, oh, no, I am tired, get out. Understand? That is what I call hell. There is no geographical hell. Those few moments what you go through is what is hell. I want all of you to understand. Don't think, oh, it's a problem in a few moments. No. When suffering happens, time will look very long. Time is not chronological as you think. Time is psychological. Open up when you leave the body. See, leaving the body is like a buy in your, buy in your system. When you buy something, whatever is big first, that only will come up first. Am I right? Even when you buy the potato, the very strong potato, which does not move, only that will start getting the effect first. The smaller pieces will get effect later on only. Understand? You have a wrong idea. If you know cooking, you will know. The strong piece only will have the first effect, usually. If you are cooked by yourself, you will understand. Not as you think, as you think that the temperature does not go to the mild smallest potato, then big potato, then biggest potato. No. Because it is the biggest body, it attracts more heat. It attracts more heat and more attention. Strongest experience which you have, in that 70 or 90, 80 years old, 80 years, that only will come up when you are wired by the death pain. Even once you had the glimpse of being without the mind or the body, that is why I say, attend NSP, only one NSP is sincere, nothing else. Nothing else. I promise I will be there anytime. It is a simple science. It's a simple science. When I say I, the pure inner consciousness which in which I am 
That is what it, I mean. See, when I say I, that is what I mean. And from there only that I comes. That pure inner space, I try to insert into your system by at least one or two seconds. You see, you don't need one hour or two hours. If you have, that is beautiful. One or two seconds. If your mind and body unclutches from you, that is enough. Because any experience without body or mind will be the strongest to hold your inner space, to possess your inner space, that will automatically pop up when you leave the body. When you leave the body. After that, even, you see, I always tell people, if you have done us in NSP intensity and had only one glimpse, and whether did I have or not, if you have doubt, you have not had, be very clear. Actually, when you have that, even the doubt will not be there. It will be so clear, yes, I know. I know. I had the space, I had the gap. Even once the gap happens, that's enough. Because that gap is so powerful. After that, even if you don't meditate or forget me, forget the art, forget everything, and forget the spirituality, if you are just uh, uh, running your life in a so-called normal or below normal level, also no problem. Because uh, everything which you do through your body and mind is only a simple samskara. But this glimpse is the samskara, beyond samskara. So this will open up. If this if you have one glimpse of the inner consciousness without body mind, you are done what needs to be done. Nothing needs to be done after that. I always tell people, if you had one glimpse, after that even if you don't meditate, your death will be great. If you meditate, your life itself will be great. That's all. That's all. Nothing else. Because the break which you give, one unclutching experience is powerful enough to burn all samskaras during leaving the body. See, when you leave the body, all the initiations related to the non-reliability or the impermanency of this world will automatically open up because this world is being taken away from you. For example, whenever you are hit by poverty, all kinds of justifications, because you have, it's a survival time, you have to face that situation, all justifications will come up. That uh, in young age you would have heard, heard the story, this sour, this great is sour, the fox story, the fox was trying, 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 fox or wolf, any one thing. It was jumping to trying to uh, catch the grape and when it, it's not able to catch, it will tell, no, no, this grape is sour. Actually, that is an initiation. That uh, wolf is initiated and it is able to bring itself up out of depression. See, the wolf can be in depression also, it did not get the grape, what to do. But somehow, the wolf is intelligent and it brought this initiation into memory and save itself from the depression and intelligent wolf. <laughs> you understand? I think only you guys are looking at the other angle. <laughs> Always you look at the, this angle. But this is the truth. So whenever you are under the survival threat, depression, your system will bring this kind of initiations up automatically. So during the death, by your very nature, you will start collecting all the great things you did in your life, all the glimpses you had in the in your life, the highest conscious glimpses. Some masters you met, you criticize, even those people you will call and you will fall at all their feet. That is why during death year, all the atheism will disappear. Automatically all atheism will disappear, all criticism will disappear, everything will become clear. And if you had even one glimpse, that is enough to nullify all your engrams. All your engrams. This is so powerful, this one glimpse, that will act like a light to travel through the wild forest of engrams. 
one light, one lantern is enough to travel to 100 miles of forest also. You don't need second lantern. And this is a one glimpse. It's more than enough to travel throughout the journey. Because n grams at that point will be only in black and white. This whole world is engram, samskaram. This whole world will be only black and white. Only this glimpse, tejas, will be in multicolor. Sourceless light. One glimpse which you had, the unclutching experience, or the experience beyond body and mind. That only will be multicolor. Simply your attention will, your attention will be attracted to it and you will go behind it. You will go behind it. That's why I always insist. Even one glimpse, even one glimpse is more than enough to save you from the depression, to bring you out of the depression. So if you have at least one glimpse, that will be such a beautiful, relaxed, liberating experience. Because the restrictions are removed. See, death is the liberation from all responsibilities of the body and related to body. Now all your suffering and responsibilities, why? Body and related to body, am I right? So death will become a great freedom from all these responsibilities of body and related to body. If you have this one glimpse, otherwise when you leave this body you will suffer so much because of the suffering and you will miss this body. See, if you miss the most loud thing in your life is what? Your body. So naturally you will miss the body terribly. You will take the body immediately within three shana. You will run to take any body. The person who misses his old lover will run and fall for anybody. Because he is missing so much, he does not see the qualification. He does not see the uh, all, all is scale. The second time he decides, no, 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 I need somebody too lonely. And he falls for anybody, anything. That is, where, that is the way the problem will be there. If you are missing your body and mind during the death, it will be too shocking. You will not be able to handle and you will run and catch somebody. Dial the Avatar Paramahamsa Nityananda answers your questions live during the daily morning satsang every day at 7.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time. We invite you to directly talk to Swamiji and receive his blessings for your life to be filled with bliss and all the auspiciousness. Dial the Avatar at 9180-2727-9999 extension 129. not actually as you think something negative. Siddhasa mastered the sign. How to use every death to awaken the deeper strands of DNA? Every death can be used to awaken deeper strands of DNA. Please understand. At the time you are disillusioned about the stability of the society your third level DNA strand can be awakened because disillusioning disillusionment about the society creates a deep insecurity in you and when you face that insecurity next level of DNA the very physical structure physical ability gets awakened in you I can tell you really, when you face a deep insecurity with the society, you have two choices. Either you can build completely new muscles and new body or completely get broken, go to pieces.
you have two choices because when the insecurity is attacked when the insecurity is awakened in you if you just go into the death the death of moment to moment to moment you will start living more into the conscious state living more into the conscious state will awaken the deeper strands of dna third and fourth same way if you are if you have a broken heart if there is a problem you are facing in your life because of some broken relationship go into that consciously you will see the deeper level strands of dna will be awakened in you you will start living intensely blissfully with your own body without the need of other body the possibility for achieving brahmacharya happens in you when the relationships are broken breaking the relationship being broken is the death brahmacharya happening is new birth so every major incident in your life every death in your life can be used to awaken the deeper level strands of dna siddhas have used this signs consciously they will put people into the death experience and awaken the deeper strands of dna and bring them back i can tell you from my own life how each death happened in my life has made me an incarnation or i can say awakened the deeper strands of dna the first death i faced in my life my father's elder brother's son elder son he died he fell into the village well he went for a vacation to his one of his relatives house so this guy was running around and fell into that well and died unfortunately so when his body was brought first time it's reality for me somebody whom you saw till few days before will not be there with you anymore it was such a big shock the basic understanding that death is inevitable got drilled in me actually i can say this awaken the sense that i have to be dependent only on me only on my body and mind for anything i want to do society will not be a permanent help that reality was completely experienced by me i can say surely it has awakened a very deep next level strands of dna in my body so independence i can say this was one strong shift in my body my body has become yog started becoming yogic body see my whole idea of depending on somebody was lost i have to be completely dependent only on the six feet frame for anything i have to do the second death was my grandmother's my grandfather's elder brother's wife she lived a ripe age of more than 103 and till the end very healthy the funny part in this is please understand the most funny part in this is all these deaths i am describing happened like a process one by one by one now if i look back it was such a great preparation how the cosmos was making incarnation the next death my grandmother's death 
that has given me the lesson of society cannot be trusted and it is not a structure as it is believed by you father is not a father mother is not a mother uncle is not uncle aunt is not aunt it was a big opening a kind of a breaking my whole being settled my respect for society has disappeared awakening of the deeper strands of dna this death has made vedic mind happen in me the first death has made yogic body happen in me this death has made vedic mind happen in me i have to be independent mentally let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explode in eternal bliss nityananda nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road biladi bangalore 562109 contact 0974220331 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation Welcome to Inner Awakening, the most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience. In just 21 days, thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels, visible anti-aging, healing of chronic diseases, fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness. What is the secret behind this transformation? Kundalini means the inner potential energy. Once it is awakened, opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you. I can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experiences. This extraordinary program is conducted personally by Paramahamsa Nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of Nityananda Dhyanapitam Ashram. Open yourself to the benefits of Nitya Yoga and practical meditation. Experience physical and mental healing. Discover simple ways to handle life with success. Above all, enjoy individual darshan and blessings from Paramahamsa Nityananda every day. Take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime.